Coming up on Kim of Queens. She needs a lot of etiquette. Oh. Gracie is a tomboy to the nth degree. Get her done, baby. Oh. Listen, if we can put a man on the moon, I can put a crown on this jock. I want you to work on your talent this week because in a few weeks, we are heading to a national pageant in Nashville, Tennessee. But not everybody's going. Miss Kim has to take me. This is, I mean, it's like going to a Kentucky Derby but not bringing your prize horse. We got to get a little bit deeper and a little bit more. Hey! I cannot believe Angie is here. Jesus, take the wheel, put her fat tail in the back seat, and drive her butt on. I got more drama than a squirrel's got nuts, y'all. Y'all, it has been so long since we had a shopping trip. I'm glad no, you girl. can make it, Al. I know. Well, I don't feel good. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all right now, but I'll, well, I'll come shopping girl. now. You know, I'll come shopping. Allison's just had her tooth removed, and she's wearing this ice pack around her head. She looks absolutely stupid. Let's go look at the butt pads. <gasps> come with me. I got mom's jeans in the buttocks area. We have no butt. It's flat, flat as a flutter. Mom and I wear butt pads to give us some junk in our trunk. Yeah, I don't think they carry them here. Oh my lord, they do. Mom. Oh my gosh, they That's do. That's perfect for you. But is this gonna crawl up the critter? No, that, no, no. And this kind of looks like mom's tail, because look at the creases in it. It's like cottage cheese. Kim. <laughs> Mom was not blessed with the butt jean. Mine is plump and round. You set a glass of water on that thing. Okay. Mom, this is extra large, but somebody's had these on. See, it's been retagged. You don't want someone no, else's no, butt pants. No. Well, don't be feeling it. I touch it. <laughs> Love Ooh, it. I love this outfit right here. Oh, I, I love, love these this pants. Scarf. Mom, look at these. Feel this. Let me and that's see. that Jersey mat stuff. Y'all, this mannequin is weird. It's moving. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, this girl is gorgeous. We need more girls like her at the pageant place. I'm a little tired of Kim's projects. They need a lot of work. And I'm ready for girls that are just ready to win. How long have you been modeling? Oh, I've been modeling since I was like eight years old. <sighs> what? I want her job. Do I it. could get my paid a lot more than you paid me. Do it. Do it. Give okay. me the shake. Okay. Oh, here, take the hat. Mom can't freeze model. She won't last two seconds, y'all. You cannot. You can't move if I pinch you, see? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Allie. Allie. Allie, I. I'm an Allie. Oh my Watch gosh. me, I had dental surgery. <laughs> Come here, Allie. Listen, step up here. Can y'all help me down? No, stay right there and freeze. No, say a word. Yeah, we just need to freeze. <laughs> stay right there. Keep it right there. Right. Have you ever done pageants? Yeah. Because yeah. you look familiar. Yeah, I was going to say, you look real familiar. You should come work with us, girl. We are training some of the best people in the country. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. But I have a pageant coach. Oh, you do? Who is it? Victoria Harris. Who is Victoria Harris? I ain't never heard of her. I mean, I've heard of her, y'all. She does glitz, and you know we don't do glitz. So you think you would be a better pageant coach? Yes. Um, I think there's things that we could teach you that probably. What's her name? Victoria. Victoria couldn't. Okay. I'm just telling. Good you. to meet you, baby. Good, Good job. Meet. If you ever change your mind, come on and see us. Okay. 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 Kim needs to start thinking like a businesswoman. Who cares if this girl's already got a pageant coach? She needs a better one, and we need winners. Listen, girl. I'm gonna tell you right now. Victoria Harris does not know what we know. And if you are smart, you will call us. Toodles. I need What's some. a great day to shop. Here, give me your bag. Go ahead, get in the car. Unlock oh, yeah. the door, How please. Much? Girl! What, what are you doing? Sorry. This old lady comes out and starts yelling at me. I didn't mean to hit her, but she needs to calm herself. So sorry. Do you know she just like to knock me out with a soccer ball? I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I apologize. I forgive you. She's okay. a soccer player. That's what she does. She plays soccer. If I got bored, I wouldn't want to go shop with my mom. I'd do what I feel. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't like to shop? No. Uh oh. Do you wear makeup? No. Heels? Heck to the no. Dresses? Oh, girl, no. I'm not like a girl, but I am a girl. If that makes sense. She. Spends her time wrestling with the boys, playing basketball, soccer. What kind of wrestling with the boys? Like, like pinning them down and punching them. Not, not wrestling. Them. No. no, no girl, no. She's so loud and I, I like loud this. though, but I like loud. <laughs> She's loud in a crazy kind of obnoxious way. I like crazy. Way. 
She just needs to be refined a little bit. Gracie has always marched to the beat of her own drum, and she won't put on a dress. She won't comb her hair. She just wants to wrestle and play, and it's time she learns how to be a girl. You just want to tone down the tomboy. We do, and let her let her fit in with her peers. I think my mom gets nervous about what people think too much, because I think she wants me to fit in instead of being like, fun. <laughs> Gracie, what do you think? Maybe I need a little, you know, what I don't. What's this? The word, the word, like. What's the word? Um, I some class. class. Some class. Yeah, there you go. Now you're talking my specialty, baby. There you go. I'm kind of a makeover junkie. I mean, I see potential in everybody. And that little Gracie is cute as a button and twice as useful. I can do something with that kid. I'm not saying the girl's the next Miss Georgia, but if I can make her feel better about herself, I say let's do it. I'm in. Let me see what I can do. Okay. I'm just letting you know you're going to have to work so hard, much. okay? Yes, she All is right. a hard worker, I will say that. Thank okay. you. Kim won't let me recruit a model, but she'll recruit a soccer player? It makes my tooth hurt just thinking about this. Bye, Gracie. Bye-bye. Okay. See y'all later. Y'all got me closing the trunk. I just had surgical oh, procedures. Let's get in. I'll just go eat. I am about to starve. You're 14 years old. I can't help guys think I'm attractive. I don't give a rat's fat behind. Does he text you stuff like that all the time? No. So I check Addison's phone frequently, and I found these dirty little text messages from a boy on her phone. I went off the flipping chain. Nothing ever happened like that when I was a teenager. Well, duh, that was in the 1940s. Are you freaking kidding me? You know guys were freaks when they were your age, too. You got pregnant at 19, they so don't never, even try. They never said Because y'all didn't have like text. This. I'm about to lose control. I'm about to lose control. I tell you what, I'll just keep your phone. How about that? That's not even fair. I didn't do anything. I don't care. I'm protecting you. You are my baby. I didn't do anything. This is mine. This is mine. I was a teen mom. I don't want her to have to go through what I did. If it takes me being hard on her, you dang right, I'll do whatever it takes. I will find him, and I will talk to his parents, because that ain't happening. Addison is the only pageant pro I'll be working with this week because she has lost her focus and her talent is toe up from the flow up. I gotta fix that. This week's pageant is the Miss Girly Girl pageant and it's all about runway. Tracy, the owner of Girly Girl, our favorite dress store, is hosting the pageant this week and the winner gets to be the spokesmodel for the store. Not only is this week's pageant all about runway, talent is optional. So it doesn't play into your final score, so it's a good practice for you for the future. So I have to do it this weekend? You, you have to do it this weekend because I want you to practice. Oh, it doesn't count in your final score. And listen score. to me, listen to me. I want you to work on your talent this week because in a few weeks, we are heading to a national pageant in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh-uh. Yes. For real. Oh my gosh. I want to go to Nashville and be in a national pageant where stuff is real deal Holyfield. But not everybody's going. Of course not. So you gotta earn your spot. Am I going? Yes, you're going. You work here. Since the girly girl pageant is talent optional, this is a perfect place for Addison to test out something new. This week, we're gonna scrap that old tap routine and find something that moves her. If she's going to Nashville with me, her talent has to be hot and she's gonna have to believe in it. We gotta get your dance up to par. Your strongest suit in talent is not so much the feet work. So what I'm saying, I'm gonna have to get you a new dance teacher. Addison's been real distracted, so I let Kim know. And I wanted her to help me with it to see what else she come up with. And she really came up with a great idea. I know that you've been getting some inappropriate texts, right? You what have? have? I'll be right back. Oh. I am so embarrassed right now. Why would you took you in that? Oh my gosh. Congratulations. You have a baby. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> this is gonna interrupt her whole world. She got a lot to learn. You will carry this baby around every day, all day, all week. You know pageant day? Yeah. Pageant day, during rehearsals, this baby will do everything a real baby will do, except hold a grudge when it gets older. You know what? You have inappropriate text coming from a guy about his wing-wang, or wing-wang, whatever you want to call it. 
<laughs> this is a wing wang stopper. <laughs> Kim, you are good, girl. Listen, I kind of wish that my mom had given me this lesson as a teen. Then I wouldn't have ended up getting hot and heavy in a hot tub, honey, and then had a baby nine months later. What are you gonna name her? Maggie. That seems simple. It sure ain't. I mean, your life, you have no more freedom. It is over. I don't want her running the streets with the boys and getting in trouble and doing things she's not supposed to be doing. That's why I am so excited that she has got this baby. <laughs> oh, make her stop. <laughs> make her stop. How am I going to learn a new routine with this in my life? Squeeze the bottle, make sure she's drinking. <laughs> she's peeing on me. <laughs> it's gonna be a long week. Yeah, we're gonna die for it. Coming up. I feel like the tooth fairy. Has this been the first time you've ever been in heels? We want to class her dance up. Leap down. Does that matter? It's not really better. <laughs> we are not going back to pageant place. It's gonna be me. Well, and I you. want to. Whatever. Come in. Hey. Hey. hey! hey! How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm good. glad good you came, Kitty. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Are you excited to be here? Yes, I am. I met Gracie and her mother yesterday, and let me tell you, Gracie is one serious tomboy. Do you wear makeup? No. Heels? Heck to the no. <laughs> Listen, if we can put a man on the moon, I can put a crown on this jock. You know Surprise. what, after I saw y'all, I saw, you know what, I think I could work with this kid. She's, <laughs> what was that? Was that a tap dance move or a soccer <laughs> no, move? Like a move? Okay, <laughs> good, good. This bundle of energy, she needs a lot of etiquette. Gracie's going into high school next year and I am terrified. I know how girls are and if she doesn't start toning down her personality a little bit, exploring her girly side, she's not gonna fit in. This pageant is so perfect for you because it's called the girly girl pageant. Okay. It's really gonna be challenging for you because not only do you have to wear an evening gown, but you have to do a signature runway walk. Okay. Okay, do you, do you, have you ever seen a runway walk? Have you ever seen like Project Runway? Yeah, kind of, not really. No, so really, yes or no? No, not really. Okay, so <laughs> do you watch TV? Yeah, The Walking Dead. Oh God. <laughs> okay, and well, NASCAR. Think the total, and NASCAR? Yeah. You watch NASCAR? And football. Oh, I love me some football. Roll Tide Roll, baby. Oh, help me Lord. Turning Gracie into a girly girl might be trickier than I thought. Put on those shoes and the tutu. The tutu, really? Hands over your head, <laughs> kid. Yeah. I have never walked in a pair of heels. These are gonna kill my feet. These are nothing like my soccer cleats. <laughs> Let me help you. Oh, God. I feel like the tooth fairy. <laughs> has, has this been the first time you've ever been in heels? I don't walk in heels. Okay. <laughs> Teaching kids how to walk in heels. That's pageantry 101, so we're gonna do some drills. Think fast. What I need you to do is give me your best soccer kicks with those shoes. Kick it to me. Oh. All right? I'm no athlete, but if I can kick a soccer ball, Gracie should be able to walk in a pair of heels. <laughs> <laughs> Wedge heels and soccer balls do not mix at all. Go. Baby step, baby step. Go back. That's too big of a step. I said baby steps, not gorilla steps. Kim got out a little whistle and started blowing at me. Drills and go. Do, 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 uh, uh. Do, uh. You rest the cone up. Here we go. Pick up your cone. Let's go. Oh, gosh, I feel powerful. Go, Gracie, go. Do, do, do. Okay, I like the I like the throwback. I like the throwback. That's that's hope. There's hope. She's actually not that bad in heels. Don't you worry, Mom. We got this. Control the runway. Control your walk. Control the judges, just like you control this ball in the soccer field. Okay. Got it. Get her done, baby. Oh. Got this all in a jar of pickles. Yikes. 
Gracie is a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a little, you know, awkward. But I love it. See, I love a challenge. <laughs> Welcome to the Gwinnett Ballet Theater. We're gonna add some class to your dance. Yeah. Gonna... <laughs> this week, we're gonna scrap that old tap routine and find something that moves her. I mean, cause that routine she got right now is tired. I mean, not like a little nap, hibernation tired, girl. Hello. Hi. Addison, this is David. Nice to meet you. He is a ballerina teacher. Why is Ken taking me to a ballet teacher? I do not do the ballet. I do tap. Don't get it. And y'all meet, um, uh, this is Addison's little baby, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Don't ask questions, just go with it. Okay. okay. Would you like to? So, um, we want to class her dance up. Okay. So, Abby Grace, if you want to step out for a few minutes, I'm gonna work with Addison. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, she's so gorgeous, so put together. Beautiful. See how put together she is? We need that. You know, the bun and the foof tutu. I want Addison to learn ballet because I want her to try something different, something new. Step out of her comfort zone. Take a little bit of the redneck out and put a little class in. All right. I think we need to get you into some ballet shoes. Can you hold this up with my sleigh on? I'll hold the baby while you put the sleeve in. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, honey. All right, ballet shoes. Let's take these. She's missing her mom. Hold on, Maggie. Actually, Kim, I think I'm gonna need to work one-on-one -on -one with Addison in here, if that's okay. I'm gonna have to ask you to step out, and you're gonna have to take the baby with you. You know, I was a little, um, I would say offended, but, you know, I think David probably could have used my input. Working out here, I just need to do a dance now, babysitting the baby. Take care of my baby now. Oh, God. Thank the Lord above and all his servants, because I cannot deal with her right now. You're going to extend your leg out to the side and go like this, and then the other one, out like that, and then bring them both down. Now, you know chasse? Like soft shake? Yes. Good. OK. I don't know why I'm doing this. Ain't kept me at all my dance routine. OK, let's go back to the beginning. Port of side, inside, and bring it back down. Boring. Tom Bay, look at my arms and my head. How to beret. Glissade. Just take. What? Tom Bay, Paul Boret, Glissade. I do not want to make a fool of myself on the stage. You won't. You if won't. I do like a drunk and frog, I will. I just don't like doing stuff that's not me, you know? I don't want to make, turn you into a ballerina because that's not what you are. Mm -mm. But I do want to take what you can do and I want to elevate it to the next level. Okay. Okay? Let's take this off. Come on. You need to be comfortable in what you're doing and confident. So let's get rid of this. All right. Let's start at the beginning. I want you to walk out. That's it. And wait from the top again. And just say. Stop from the top. Leap, down. Is that better? It's not really better. <laughs> I really want to pull this from you. I want to pull more from you. Did you just yawn? <laughs> there is no yawning in ballet class. I am so tired. I have not slept at all. Oh, Mags kept me up all night. The, all of this is up to you now. No. -uh. You have to work on this. You have to rehearse for hours. Coming up. Hey. I cannot believe Andy is here. What are they doing here? Can we sit over here? Addison's toughest competition is Mara. She's going to have to step her game up. Today, I'm taking Addison and Gracie to Girly Girl. It's our favorite dress store, and it's who's sponsoring this week's pageant. Being a spokesmodel for Girly Girl is a great prize for these girls. It means you're getting to do all their ads, all their social media, you even get free dresses. And voila, this is Girly Girl. Wow. wow. I've never been in a dress shop before. I'd rather just go play soccer until everyone's done shopping. This is what I need you guys to do. I need you to go and find the perfect dress that you like. I'm curious to see what you like, OK? For you, the baby stays with you the entire time. Can you please tell us why I help her? Please, no. I'll pay you. This is the thing. That's what moms do. We multitask. We well, hold I'm babies. I'm not a mom. You are this week. I'm exhausted. And I'm not a really big fan of Maggie right now. I want to give her back, like now. Good luck. Come on. 
Let's go upstairs. Remember, White always wins. I'm hoping Addison can help Gracie find something that she's comfortable in. Because there ain't no soccer shorts in this place, I can tell you that. What cool colors do you normally wear? I've never worn a dress. No. -uh. What do you do then? Soccer. I'm the keeper. What does that mean? It's like you stop the goals. I think you like score people, you write it down. No. <laughs> what color dress do you want? I don't know. What about red? Sure. Okay, it's this one. Let's go. Addison seems cool. She's kind of helping me pick out dresses. Kind of. Hey, hey. I see a lot of red. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's the power color. Addison, come on up, babe. <gasps> Where's your baby? Taking a nap. Go get your baby. He's asleep. You don't want to On the home. floor. Go get your baby. <laughs> I think Maggie is starting to teach Addie a thing or two about what real responsibility is all about, and I like it. What makes you a girly girl? I have a very good personality. I'm down to earth. I'm real. Mm. I'm a multitasker. <laughs> Addison, why does that baby keep crying? I don't know. Well, I realize I haven't changed her diaper in two days. OK, Gracie, let's see it, babe. <laughs> oh, my god. That dress is too old for you. I like this dress. Me and Addison did a good job. If you're going to win this crown, you're going to have to tell me why you think you're a girly girl. Right now? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Cat got your tongue? Yeah. No, your cat never has your tongue. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. Shout it out. Sweating. You're sweating because you are uncomfortable, right? Yes. yes. That's a hard question, huh? Yes. Are you a girly girl? I'm getting there. I'll take that. I'll take that, too. I'll That's take that for now. That but she won't get there in that thing. We finally got her in a dress. Now she looks like a girly girl, but I want her to feel like a girly girl. So you're excited about the pageant today? Mm -hmm. Mara's pretty upset because Kim asked us to leave the pageant place. I love you. But I can't do this anymore with your mom. So we took a couple weeks off. But she's back this week. She has a new dance and a new dress, and she's ready to win. In your runway where you do your introduction, you better speak clearly and loudly and with what? Um. Um. Con. Confidence. Jesus. I really miss working with Miss Kim. I cannot wait to see Miss Kim. We are not going back to Pageant Place. It's going to be new Well, I want to. Whatever. I think we're doing fine, just on our own. Mm -hmm. I love this stage. Oh, I it's too. huge. Hello. Hey, girls. Girly Girl in our community is one of the best dress shops. So this pageant is a big deal because the winner gets to be the spokesmodel for Girly Girl. I see your skin is flawless, child. Well, her hair is, she's got so much hair for five people in here. <laughs> Mom, don't rip her hair out for the love of God. I might have pulled her hair just a little to get back at her for kicking me with that soccer ball. Okay, so the introduction is name, your age, and why you want to be a girly girl. So we got to get a little bit deeper and a little bit more. Hey! I cannot believe Angie is here. God knows I love Mara, but I'm not ready to let Angie back into my life. What are they doing here? Can we sit over here? Y'all know that awkward moment when you know there's an elephant in the room? There's definitely one in the room. Coming up, Addison's toughest competition is Mara. But Addison's gonna have to step her game up. Victoria. Victoria. Nice to meet you. Yes, I've heard so many great things about you. And vice versa. Awesome. Good. I think she's about as real as pressed on nails or fake eyelashes.
deeper and a little bit more sophisticated. Hey. I cannot believe Angie is here. Can we sit over here? This is the first time I've seen Angie since she's left the Badger place. Mara is a winner, but Angie is a nightmare. Oh, this is where she's answering the question at the Blue Mar. Let me walk for y'all. Oh, my God, Watch I'm out. me. What? Get up and sit your tail down. All she does is contradict me. Finally, I had no choice but to ask them to leave. What are you doing? You got kicked out the pageant place. They can be at the pageant, but they don't need to be in the same dressing room as us. Stay in your own dressing room. Quit bothering us. She's like a big old tick, sucking the life out of the group. Oh, Mara meet Gracie. Gracie meet Mara. Hi. Mara used to be with us at the pageant place. Who's this? Kim's latest project? That girl is a wreck. Well, we've missed you. I've missed y'all. You yeah. have? <laughs> I have worked with Mara and Angie since Mara's been 11 years old. I am so glad to see Mara. It's Angie that drives me nuts, but I can't help but coach my girl. So tell me what you're gonna be doing on stage today. Give me your speech. Um. Did you write it? Cause your mom write it. I helped her out. So she wrote it. No, I didn't write it. She just said you wrote it. I didn't write it. She just I said you wrote I it. I helped you out writing it. I didn't write it. Okay, well, I'll be looking forward to hearing it. Worry about your own girls, huzzy, and I'll worry about Mara. You kicked us out, remember? Addison, you ready? Yes, I am. All right, come on out. Oh, my goodness, you little princess. You look good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it looks so pretty. We finally got you in a white yeah. dress. I know one thing, I'm a hot mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, let's go. Addison's toughest competition is Mara. I mean, Mara has matured. She's got a lot of new dresses and things when she came back. So Addison's gonna have to step her game up. Gracie, come on, babe. Let's see ya. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. You look amazing, Gracie. When Gracie came out in the dress, hair straight, makeup, I was shocked. I can't even believe this is Gracie coming out looking so beautiful, so mature. It was such a huge transformation that made me get teary-eyed and emotional. You're crying. <laughs> I am crying. I don't even recognize myself. That ball gown is heavy. Wearing this dress is going to be a workout itself. Same girl that's in the dirt and muddy every weekend. Now she truly is a girly girl. She is a girly girl. My main focus with Gracie is getting her to a place where she's comfortable because I can tell she is so nervous right now. What do you feel like on the inside? I'm gonna puke. Don't puke. Don't puke. <laughs> I won't. Okay, smile. I'm just so happy to get her out of the soccer uniform. There's hope for Gracie yet. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. You're good, Kim. What? Well, I want to introduce you to the are you excited? Yeah. Oh, God, I'm so, so I'm just walking backstage, minding my own little business, and who do I bump into? None other than Victoria Harris, Allie the Freeze Models pageant coach. You should come work with us, girl. But I have a pageant coach. Oh, you do? Who is it? Victoria Harris. <laughs> Victoria, I want hey. to introduce you to Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. Nice, nice to meet you, you Victoria. Victoria. Nice to meet you. Yes, I've heard so many great things about you. And vice versa. What kind of training do you do? We do a little bit of everything. Glitz Natural Scholarship, everything except vocal and dance training. So yeah, we are kind of a full service awesome. studio too. We That's teach great. vocal, dance. We just don't teach pageants, we teach life. Yeah, we teach a lot of life Absolutely. lessons there. Awesome, mm -hmm. good. Really, That's very interesting. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little fake laugh. Now Whitney, you were Miss Florida? I was Miss Florida Teen USA. Never won Miss Florida USA. Tried. Height really matters. <laughs> That's why I like the America system, because it's all about the brain. Absolutely. And I'm into brains. <laughs> brains and beauty. Good company. I agree. Yes. The Teen USA system is more about how you look. I think for the hoochies of America. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to judge these girls up. And uh, best of luck. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice to meet you. I think she's about as real as pressed on nails or fake eyelashes. First is beauty, where they'll be judged on their walk, their grace, their elegance, their dress. Victoria's philosophy might just be at skin to win, because that dress is too sexy. How old is she? 16. Next up, we have contestant number 16, 
Mara. Kim always says winners wear white, but look at Mara in red. Red's where it's at. Thank you, contestant number 16, Mara. So I'm sitting there and I'm waiting on Addison to come out, and I'm very nervous because Mark was really good. Next, we have contestant number 19, Addison. Oh, I look like an angel from heaven above in my new beauty dress. I love it. Woo, go, Natty Bow. Woo! I am an emotional wreck. That new white dress blew me away. Amazing. Amazing. Take it as my red. Good job. I'm freaking out right now. When I saw all the other girls done up, I was thinking, oh, Lord. I don't really know if I can do this. Next up, we have contestant number 14, Gracie. Coming up, Mara is tearing the dance floor up. This talent is wrapped up from the floor up. There you go! I know that you can do this. Mara did really good. So now I'm really nervous to do my new routine. Gracie's up next, and I'm worried. I'm not seeing that fun, outgoing Gracie that said she was going to win. I just hope she can go through with it. Next up, we have contestant number 14, Gracie. I'm freaking out right now. Why am I even doing this? such a day that I don't even know what's going on. I can't hear anyone. All I'm thinking is, I wish I was in the soccer cleats right now. She's visibly nervous. She doesn't have a big smile on her face. My heart sank. Where's the old Gracie? Go, Gracie. Gracie is a bubbly, quirky, high-energy girl, and I'm just not seeing that girl on stage. What happened? OK, everybody, let's go. We're doing runway. All right, let's go. Next up is runway. Well, they'll have to tell the judges why they are a girly girl, and they got to show off their personality. <gasps> Gracie, you look adorable. Do us a spin. Gracie's strength is her personality, but I don't know where hers went. She is oh. gorgeous. Can I say something, though? Yes. You mind a spin you? Yes. I know you said she's a lot calmer because she's nervous. Yes. But I miss the old Gracie. Uh, me too. Where's you too? Baby? I do. You do? I do. The Gracie that's nervous and trying to be refined and not herself is not the kid that I've known for 14 years. I miss my spunky, inappropriate at times baby. Don't you? I do. I do. It took a tone down <laughs> to realize that it, baby, that's just not her. You were made to stand out. That's what you were made to do. I feel good when everyone's like, we want the old Gracie back. We want the good personality. Now I can just be who I want and have fun. My mom will be proud of me either way. Hey, y'all. My name's Gracie Crow. I'm 14. I'm a girly girl because I'm confident, sassy, and a little bit wacky. I can kick it on the soccer field. And why should I fit in when I was born to stand out? <laughs> You were, baby. You were born to stand out. When I went out on runway, I just had fun. I can be a girly girl. I can be a tomboy. I can be whatever I want. Next, please welcome contestant number 16, Mara. Glitter is grand, and so are pearls, but there's nothing like us girly girls. A little crazy, but not too wild, the kind of girl that will make you smile. <laughs> Woo! Good job, Angie. Mara should be writing her own speech. Mara should be able to tell me why she wants to be a girly girl. This is the real problem I have with Angie. Win. We have Win. contestant number 19, Go. Addison. I know she feels good about what she did in beauty, so I'm just hoping she's going to keep the energy from that to be able to do runway as good as she did beauty. Hello, my name is Addison Wingate and I am 14 years old. I believe that I'm a girly girl because I don't care about the lip gloss, heels, or dress. I believe it's about the girl in the dress. I'm a girly girl that's becoming a lady. Yes, you are, girl. That's my girl. What is Kim thinking, putting her in a lime green dress? Ugh, tacky. 
Talent is optional this week, and that means it doesn't affect their score. And Addison has a new routine, and it's the perfect time to show it off. Victoria, this is David. He's one of our dancers. He's it's helping nice our girls with their dance. Love to meet you, too. Yes. Dance. Dance. Yes. So you don't do all the talent. I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just kidding. No, she's not. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't just go there. I can smell a skunk a mile away without a spray. Next, we have contestant number 17, Allie. You better be Victoria's girl. Allie, the freeze model, is going to freeze model for her talent? It's a talent, no doubt, but not a badge talent. Did you choreograph this? Yes. Yeah. The I music, love everything put together. What? Next up, contestant number 16, Mom. Mara is tearing the dance floor up. This talent is wrapped up from the floor up. I mean, like, she knows she can do one thing, and that's dance. There you go! Woo! Mara's talent routine is really good. Thank God talent does not count for their final score. I know that you can do this. <laughs> Mara did really good, so now I'm really nervous to do my new routine. Next, we have contestant number 19, Addison. She is so nervous right now. But sometimes you got to get outside of your comfort zone and do things that you've never done before. You're doing something you've never done before, and if you do the best you can do, that's all we can ask. And as cute as a little butter bean. That's about all I can say. Her dance routine, subpar, to say it nicely. Coming up. And now, your team, Miss Girl and Girl Queen. Have you ever judged? I have judged a lot, um, local, state, national. So, wow. what a difference. Yeah, me too. Next up is our team, Miss Girl the Girl Award Ceremony. I'm really nervous because Addison had some competition. Mara was really good. Beginning with prettiest hair. Which goes to contestant number 16, Yay! Mara. Well, that should go to me, because I did it. And for our best dress category. That award goes to contestant number 19, Addison. Woo! Uh, holla. Our next category is runway wear. And the winner in this category is Contestant number 16, Mara. I'm getting really nervous because every trophy's gone to Mara. Mara was a winner before we came to the pageant place, and she's still a winner now that we're gone. I'm a little shocked that Mara won runway wear. I thought Addison looked amazing. And now, for your team, Miss Girly Girl Queen. Mara killed it in beauty. She killed it in runway. But I don't know. It could go either way here. Addison is really giving her a run for her money. This is like nail biting close. Come on, come on. I really hope I beat Addison. I just want to prove to Miss Kim that I deserve to be back at the pageant place. And now, your team, Miss Girly Girl Queen, is contestant number 19. That is my baby. That's her. I am so, so, so excited I won, because now I get to be the spokesmodel for Curly Girl. It's Victoria, very nice to meet you. Absolutely, good Best luck. Best of luck. Yeah. What? Huh? What? I don't 
don't see any of Victoria's girls with any trophies. You go, baby! You go, baby! You go, baby! You go, baby! It's an honor to be Miss Girly Girl because they have very fabulous dresses. I'll tell you this, since you won, Maggie can go back in the box. Oh. <laughs> thank God from all of us. I love Maggie, but thank the Lord I'm done. I love you, baby. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm sorry if I tried to make you be someone you're not. It's kind of nice knowing my mom's proud of me, even though I'm not that girly. Because I think you're perfect how you are. Now get those heels off and get that gown off. Come on. She saw, wow. I could have this kind of kid or I could have this kind of kid. I want my old Gracie back. Amazing sister, as usual, as usual. Thank you. I really wish I was still a pageant place girl because I am seriously dying to go back. I can tell Mara wants to be back with Kim and my child always comes first. Can I talk to you in private somewhere? So I guess I have to swallow my pride so Kim will let her back in the pageant place. You know, the Lord says that if you ask for forgiveness, that you will be forgiven. And the first step is admitting your problem. And my problem is control. Look, I just say this, go on and cry, honey. You'll just pee less. And I think that that has been tomorrow's detriment in this situation. And I want you to know that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it right. Ever since Angie has left Pageant Place, um, there has been such peace, and there has been room for other people to rise. I love Mara. I believe that one day she'll be Miss America. I just don't know if I'm the one to take her there. Well, why did we think you were? Things change. Right now, I just don't think that there's a place for you in Mark the Badger Place. What do you want when you're sick? You always just want your mama, right? You feel any better? Well, honey, between this toothache and that crying baby we've had all week, I got a headache. Allison, you were 10 times worse than that crying baby this weekend. You were an obnoxious baby. You were loud. Mom. What? Mom. You're obnoxious. I'm through with you. I'm a, you're, you're still obnoxious, obnoxious Allison. I'm through You're now. obnoxious and you're making my tooth hurt even worse. Get well soon, Allison.